Welcome to the next edition of What I Wish I Knew When First Starting Magic the Gathering Arena. This one is an incredibly important one because we're going to talk today about how to get free gold. Now, gold is something that is incredibly useful for you as you're starting out in this game and you're looking to try to build your collection and enter events and all sorts of things. So let's talk a little bit about what it is first. Gold is one of the two cu currencies that you can get in the game. The first is right over there. You can see it's represented by these gold coins with the Planeswalker symbol on it. And right next to it are gems. Those are the other, that's the other primary form of currency within the game. Now you can of course get either of these by you know paying real money if you want to, but there are certainly ways to do it for free without ever having to spend a single dollar. You can very easily in this game, well, relatively easily, everything's relative, right? But you can easily in this game make it to even the highest levels of competitiveness by being fully free to play. There are a lot of games out there that you can't truly play competitively as a free to play player. But if you wanted to accomplish that in Magic the Gathering Arena, that is much more feasible than in many other games. There are several ways you can do that. However, the tips that I'm going to show you today will help get you there a little bit more quickly. And I wish I knew this when I was first starting out. So gold, first of all, what is it used for? Well, it's used for a few things. One, it's used to buy booster packs. And that is one of the ways that you grow your collection. Obviously, that, that should go without saying. Um, you can buy booster packs with gold. You can also enter events with gold. So if you tap play over here, you'll see all of these events that are listed here. They cost various um, different different amounts to, to enter. So let's say, you know, standard event. Let's just tap on this one. So this one costs 500 gold to enter, but you could also enter for 95 gems. I would not recommend doing that, by the way, um, because there are, there are definitely advantages and disadvantages to entering different events based on what the rewards you get. But on this one, let's say you go undefeated, you get seven wins, you would get a thousand gold and three cards. So that's one way, you know, you've gotten, you've gotten some gold from entering an event, 500 in, if you win seven, you get a thousand gold. However, I would not recommend this uh, as a, as a starting out player who is just getting, getting going in this game. Maybe once you're a little more competitive, but these tend to be a little bit harder to achieve that seven win. It's not something that can be done just very easily. You've got to have a really good deck in order to do that. Just for comparison, let's kind of go down and we can see. So 800 gold for six wins, five wins is 600, and then four wins is 500 gold. So we break even if we get four wins in this game. Break even. 500 gems, or I'm sorry, 500 gold is what we call, is what our cost is for entry. And then if we get four wins, that's an if, then we would break even. And you get a few cards too, which is nice, but that's not very many. That's three cards. That is not a lot. So if you more likely get, you know, three, two or one win, or even if you enter with zero wins, you'll still get some of your gold back and you'll get the experience of having played, but you'll get three cards out of it, but that's it. So if you really wanna pay, let's say you, you lose everything, you get zero wins, you've paid essentially 400 gold because you got 100 back. So you would have paid 400 gold for three cards. That's just not worth it in my opinion, based on other ways that you can get cards in this game for free, just by playing the game, literally playing win or lose, you can, you can actually, get cards through through experience and through some of the, the the quests that they give you daily so i wouldn't recommend this as as one of the ways to get gold but just so you can have a frame of reference as we talk about some of the better ways to get it that's one example so i'm going to go back home here and there are of course other events that you know pay pay better and we'll talk more on those in some of the future videos so you can see which ones do make sense to enter and which ones are the best ones to use to spend your gold so definitely stay stay tuned for that Leave a like on this video, by the way. Let me just stop and say that. Leave a like if you appreciate this series and if, you, if it's helping you. If you want to see more, I'll continue to make these. I have several more plans, so stay tuned for those. Comment down below, subscribe, so you can make sure that you get these videos when I do release them. So, and thanks for showing up. Thanks for watching this video. All right, let's get into it. So here's the, the very first way that you can get free gold in Magic the Gathering Arena. All right, and this is a pretty simple one. It's just by winning four matches, at least four matches per day. So right over here, you see these are these are quests, right? So I've got a weekly quest here, which gives me 250 XP if I win 15 games in, in a week, which is, that's relatively easy to do within a week's span of time. And then next to it, I've got another one, which, whoop, let me tap on that again, which is for daily wins. These are my daily win rewards. The first win, I get 250 gold just for winning one match of any any type within these these three areas, standard play, ranked modes, or events. So if you're able to, to get a win in any one of those areas, then you will get 250 gold. 
and you can do this three more times. The first four wins that you get on your daily win quests will act, rewards will actually get you gold as as a reward. Beyond that, you'll still get other rewards as you go. You'll get cards. You'll get you'll get various things as you continue on with your daily wins. So certainly, if you can win fifteen, go for it. If you want to, it will not hurt you. It will only help you. But you get the most value from winning at least your four because the four are where you get gold is in your first four wins every day. So that is my first tip is to make sure you win at least four per day. There were many days when I didn't do this and I was just missing out on free coins. It's relatively easy to get four wins each day. A little bit harder to get 15. It takes a little bit more time, certainly doable, but as you're starting out, you may see a lot of losses in there on your way to getting those 15. So it may take you a little bit longer time. If you're looking for the most time for your money, literally, then I would just focus on those four wins per day. So that's the first way, pretty simple. Now, the second way that you can get free gold in Magic the Gathering Arena is by doing a swap. And this is not a guaranteed way. This is sometimes this will work, is by swapping out your daily quests. So I have my daily, I have my weekly wins. I have my daily wins. And then next to it, I see these two little bars. And then there's a third section over here too. These are daily quests. Let me tap on one and show you what it looks like. So this is one example, cast 20 blue or red spells. If I do that, and I don't, I don't have to win anything, but I just, by casting my spells, if I do 20 blue or red spells cast, I will get 500 gold and 500 mastery XP. This one next to it is another example, same, re same reward, but it's 20 white or red spells. So blue or red, white or red, they will work simultaneously. So if I'm casting red, for example, that's gonna give me progress on both at the same time. And then there's a third one over here too. It says waiting for new quests. So you get new quests every day, but you can only have up to three daily quests at one time. So you can work on all three at the same time, but it will not generate any more for you beyond that third day. All right, so if you get 500 gold as your reward, for example, what you could do is tap that click to swap button and it will re-roll. It's like a roll of the dice and it'll give you another random quest with another random reward coming out of it. The reward, is it may likely be the same, it may be exactly the same, and if so, nothing lost. This is literally a click of a button, but potentially you could re-roll for a quest that grants you 750 gold, which is a 250 gold difference, and that's daily. You could potentially have that, if you get lucky with your rolls, you could potentially have that every day. Um, so it's just literally a simple, easy way to make sure that you swap at least one quest per day. You can only swap once per day though. So if I'm choosing, I'm gonna choose either this one or this one, whichever one I think I'm less likely to complete. Now the deck that I'm playing right now in standard does not have any white or red in it. So I'm gonna be swapping this one out. This one, I have some blue in my standard deck right now, so I could still make progress towards it potentially, just not quite as fast. But over here, I'm going to swap this out. And when I tap that, it says swap, swap this quest for a new one. All progress on this quest will be lost. This action can't be undone. I'm going to say okay, and then let's see if we get another 500 or if we get a 750. We got another 500. Okay, so tomorrow I could come back and actually swap that again if I want to, but again, I can only have up to three at one time. So if I complete one of these, it'll give me the reward, of course, sooner than that. And this one is blue or black spells. I'm going to get that one a lot quicker because my deck is blue, green, and black. So I'll definitely get to that one and potentially then I could maybe even swap this one tomorrow, see if I can get something better out of it. So that's how you will get more gold is by potentially swapping out these quests. So make sure you do this at least once a day. There's nothing lost if you do it and it just rolls the exact same reward of 500 gold, not a problem. But if you do roll it and you get 750, even better. You just gave yourself free coin, free gold by, by doing that. All right, so let's move on to the final final tip. And this one is very similar in spirit to the last one. It's literally just doing something every day and checking on it. And that is to go into the store. And I know, don't get nervous. I'm not going to tell you to buy anything because again, you don't have to spend any money in this game. You can be completely free to play to be successful at a very high level. But one thing that you will want to keep an eye on every day here is if you look at deals. Now there's always one deal that's highlighted over to the left here. You could tap go to deals and it'll take you there or you can go to the daily deals tab down here. Either one takes you to the same place. And you'll see these are usually nothing too special in terms of helping out new players. They're usually probably, I would say, recommend these more for experienced players who wanna you know, get their decks looking a little bit nicer and get their cards looking a little bit nicer. And you can spend you know, gems or you can spend gold to get some alternate art card styles on there, which like extended art basically. And if you notice, they actually move, which is really cool. It's a nice little parallax effect on, on the card there, pretty nice. 
However, and this, and even these, sometimes they have really good deals on. So normally they're 1500, this one's 500. That is a good deal if you're looking to get that, but it does not help you in the game. This is not giving you the actual card. This is just giving you a different version of the card if you should happen to have that card in your collection already. So that's a key important thing to remember. So maybe that's my other, you know, half tip is don't waste your, your, your gold on something like this early on as you're starting out, unless you really want to, I mean, go for it. But if you're trying to build your collection, this, this will not help you at all. But here's what you need to do. Check this every day because you'll see here, all offers refresh in 56 minutes. So it is just before, it's a little bit after 10 o'clock on the East Coast here in the United States. So at 11 a.m. Eastern time, these offers refresh. I don't know if that's, I, I would assume that's the same globally is where that refreshes, but it could be different. I'm not sure how that works, but yeah, all offers refresh every day essentially is the important thing to know. And it may have another similar type of offer for a card style or sleeves or something like that. But every so often, maybe every week or two, roughly, you'll see a really good deal in here. They will be literally selling, for example, 500 gold is one I've seen for 50 gold. And you're thinking, wait a minute, that makes no sense. Yeah, it really doesn't make any sense. But you'll see a price here. The, the thing that you're buying is 500 gold and down here the cost of that 500 gold is 50 gold so you're literally giving yourself 450 gold for free so if you have at least 50 gold up here in your in your stash you can spend that 50 gold and then you'll have 500 gold which is really nice it's a great way to get gold for free just by checking this and i'm, I'm assuming that that they do that so that you can you know check these every day and hopefully buy more things you know the more you're in the store the better for for them as a company they hopefully will get people to, to make purchases in there and that's probably why they do it. And they, they offer tantalizing things like that every so often to keep people checking and coming back to check it to make sure and see if they if they can see those awesome deals. But that doesn't mean you can't take advantage of that too as a free to play player, just check it and see if there's nothing there, then don't buy it. But if there is something awesome there, then go ahead and make sure you, you buy that because all the gold that you use will really help propel you forward to entering events and events. There are certain events, which I'll, I'll show you in, in a future video, Certain events will really propel your collection forward by a lot. You get a lot of value for the amount of gold that you can spend to enter an event. So stay tuned for more info on that. But that is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. That is how you can get free gold, which will help you to ultimately expand your collection and become even more competitive and just have more fun playing this awesome game as a free-to-play player. We will see you in the next one. Again, make sure to comment down below and let me know what you think of it. And if you have any other thoughts, questions, suggestions, or anything, I would appreciate it. Thanks. We will talk to you guys in the next one.